Hello, this is My Mobile Learning Tips, a video podcast series that is meant to help students and teachers make use of mobile technology, both in the classroom and on the go. My name is Andreas Hofer, and in this episode I'm going to show you how to use QR codes in the classroom. A QR code, which stands for Quick Response Code, provides a quick method of getting content onto smartphones. Unfortunately, QR codes are mostly used for marketing purposes which is why most people find them of little interest. However, QR codes can provide useful information in a matter of seconds. Here are some examples of how teachers and students can use QR codes in the classroom using the Kaiva online QR generator and a projector or printouts in the classroom. Text can be used for a variety of purposes. It is however limited to 250 characters. The text message could contain instructions for an open learning class including all the tasks that have to be done by the end of the class or week. The text messages can be shared via email, social networks or saved to a mobile note-taking system like Evernote or SpringPad for future reference. Text messages could also be used to distribute role cards for a role play. In this case, a whole series of QR codes have to be produced and projected onto the screen side by side for the students to scan. Each student in the role play scans his or her role. Teachers can use QR codes of their phone numbers when they go on a field trip and want students to have their phone numbers for safety reasons. The students scan the code and add the phone number to their contact list. Last but not least, you can pass on email addresses via QR code. There are many Web 2.0 services that allow posting via email. Two examples are Picasso Web for posting pictures and Blogger for blog posts. You can configure a secret email address and then all incoming emails are treated as blog, blog posts with the subject line as title and the body text as post. Images can be sent via attachments. This is the end of this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it.